guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Martina Lilly. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I really appreciate all of the support. I look a little bit crazy right now. I have no face makeup on and I have a full eye and a full brow on. I promise there is a reason for that. Also, I do have the tail end of a cold right now, so I probably sound a little bit congested um, and a little bit fluey, so I'm sorry for that. But let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. Today is Face It Friday. That is right. Today is the day that I test out and try out a new foundation. Now, some Sometimes this will be a full review where I've had the product for quite some time or a month or a couple of weeks and I've tested the product out already and I know my thoughts and opinions and sometimes this is going to be testing out a brand new foundation for a first impression and a wear test to see what we think of it. Now today is definitely a full review. I've had the foundation that I'm going to be reviewing today for a little while. I've tested it with different primers, different um, concealers, different bronzers, etc. Um, and I definitely have some opinions on this particular foundation. So you probably guessed by the title of the video. Today's review is on the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. So this is the foundation right here if you have not seen it before. Um, there's definitely been some controversy around this foundation before. Um, when it first released, the shade range was pretty dismal. Not that they didn't release a lot of shades, um, but the shades were kind of like 1 to 20 light to medium shades and then like a very couple or a very minimal amount of deep tone shades um, and deep dark shades. They have since expanded their range um, to include a lot more uh, of the either ends of the spectrum, so very, very fair, and also your deep and your deep dark tones. Now, I can't speak on behalf of anyone that's not my tone, so I'm not sure if this now caters a lot more uh, fully to those different shade ranges. Um, however, I am appreciative of the fact that they have acknowledged their mistake and tried to rectify it. So we're going to go ahead and review this foundation today. Now, it is officially called the Bounce Liquid liquid long nope that's not what it's called. It's officially called the Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. That is quite a mouthful, so I'm going to call it the Bounce Foundation today. This is what it looks like right here. Um, you've got a little toggle to turn it on and off right here. I have actually heard a lot of people complain about the packaging of this um, foundation before, but I personally love the packaging. For me, the packaging was actually one of the big reasons why I purchased the foundation in the first place. I like squeezing out my foundation onto this little like beauty blender shaped pan right here and dipping in my sponge and putting that on my face. It stops me from having to use the back of my hand. Um, I like that it can be turned off and on. I like that it is, I think it's glass, maybe it's plastic, but it kind of feels like glass. But Whatever it is. I actually really, really enjoy the packaging of this particular foundation. I don't have any negative comments about the packaging at all. Okay, so some of the claims for this foundation is that it is full coverage, it's matte, it's for all skin types, uh, it's got hyaluronic acid and white birch extract in it, it's called a whipped formula, that's one of the things that's supposed to be innovative about it, um, and it is supposed to smooth skin texture. Um, now it's one fluid ounce and 30 mil, so your standard foundation amount. It's 40 US dollars and 60 Australian dollars at sephora.com or sephora.com.au. Um, it is free from sulfates, mineral oil, SLS, SLES, parabens, formaldehyde, and fragrance. This is one of the other big draw cards for me. With this foundation, I have extremely sensitive skin, so uh, the fact that this doesn't have any nasties in it, I really appreciate. Um, it is also vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. Now, if you don't know, my channel is a completely cruelty-free channel. I do not test or wear any makeup that has been tested on animals. I'm definitely passionate about uh, leaving a kind of footprint in the world. So let's not delay this any further. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the foundation to my face. I'm also going to apply my concealer, uh, my bronzers, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to finish my face application um, and I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck my hair out of the way. I definitely look a bit like a dork when I do this, but... I can't put my foundation on with me hair in me face. So I'm going to go ahead. Normally I put this foundation on with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. That is my normal everyday primer. Um, and I can tell you that it works beautifully with that primer. Um, I've tried it with no primer. I've tried it with other primers. And it seems that it doesn't really impact the foundation too much. Today I'm actually going to try the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I actually have a little sample right here. This is not what you buy. I just actually have a sample of it and I really, really have been dying to try it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try this uh, little primer out today. 
I personally really like a good um, smoothing primer. I have combination skin. Um, today I am going through it. <laughs> um, I have breakouts all down here. My skin is looking a little bit oily. It's definitely looking congested. So we're really going to get to see how the uh, bounce foundation looks on my skin today. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Beauty Blender foundation. We're going to go ahead and put this on. I am going to squeeze out three pumps. So one, two, and three. Usually I find three to four pumps is enough to cover my face. I'm going to go ahead and use my Thrive Cosmetics sponge to blend this one out. Um, and then I'm just going to pick up a little bit and dab it on my face. Now the thing that I have found with this foundation by far is that less is more. So if you don't want this foundation to look cakey, do not put a lot on. The more you put on, I guess it's kind of like any foundation, but it definitely is the case with this one. The more you put on, um, the more cakey it's definitely going to look, at least in my opinion and in my experience. Again, I have combination skin. It gets oily throughout the day, 100%. Um, it's looking extremely congested. I have fine lines. I have wrinkles. Um, I don't use Botox. I don't use filler. So it's very much a, like, what it's going to look like on your skin if you don't do anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, you know. Um, in terms of whether the application is better, I'm just going to take this out. This is annoying. In terms of whether or not the application is better with a sponge or a brush, it should come as absolutely no surprise that this foundation goes on better with a sponge. If Beauty Blender, the people that literally revolutionized a sponge, didn't make a foundation that goes on better with a sponge, then they are doing something wrong. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like with one layer applied. And when I say one layer, I mean like the three pumps that I used. Um, but I find that to be quite a light layer on my skin. It's not full coverage. I'm going to zoom you guys in so that you can see what it looks like with the one layer. And then we're going to build it up a little bit in the areas that I need. So I'm going to keep my lights nice and low so that you can actually see what my skin looks like. Um, so as you can see, you can still see like freckles and a little bit of redness coming through around here. And if you go to my bad side, you can see I've got breakouts completely coming out here. Um, my forehead, it looks fine with... Um, you can still see my lines. It doesn't settle in my lines, but I have, you know, unfortunately I have wrinkles. So you are going to kind of see them in a foundation unless you're completely flawless. Like, then you won't see them. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and take one more pump of the foundation and I'm just going to build this up in the areas that I have breakouts. Okay, so I have gone ahead and built my foundation up to be exactly where I like it. It doesn't settle into any of my fine lines or anything like that. Um, it settles a little bit into, I have like one line right here on my mouth and it settles a little bit into that, but every single foundation I've ever tried settles into that little line of my foundation. So it's by all means right now looking absolutely beautiful on my skin. It looks even. It's covered um, almost everything that I needed it to cover. It's not completely full coverage. I'm not looking like a blank statue, um, but it is looking as full of a coverage as I would like it to. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to put on my concealer and my powder, um, my liquid bronzer, a liquid highlighter, and then all of my powder products so that you can see how this foundation is going to look using different products um, and I'm not going to talk through this I'm just going to speed through it just so that you can see because otherwise we'll be here for like 40 minutes um, and we're probably already here long enough knowing how much I talk <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that um, before I do I would love to know if you guys have tried this foundation out or not yet let me know in the comments below if you have tried this foundation and what you do think of it um, I really would be interested to see what your opinions are because there are so many mixed reviews on there um, okay let's go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I will be right back
Alright you guys, this is the finished makeup look with the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. Um, now I personally love the way that this look turned out. I think you can see from the clips that all of the products I used today just lay beautifully on my skin over this foundation. It didn't patch off, it didn't wear off, it didn't kind of sit funny in different places. Um, everything looks really pretty on my skin. Now in terms of my final thoughts on this foundation, I think that this is a good foundation. Is it my holy grail foundation of all time? Absolutely not. At this point in time, am I going to repurchase this foundation? I don't think so. And the reason why I, don't, I say I don't think so and it's not an absolute yes or no is because when I first tried this foundation, I absolutely hated it. I literally hated the way it looked on my skin. And because we can't return makeup in Australia, I was determined to make this foundation work for me. And I have found a way to make it work for me. So less is more. I only build it up in the areas that I need extra coverage. And then wherever I can do a less is more approach, I absolutely do. And I found that that means that it doesn't settle into my lines and it doesn't look cakey. Um, now, the more I wear this foundation and the more I figure out the primers and like well maybe not so much the primer because I wear the Tatcha one every day but like the kind of amount of product to put on my face is the more I like this foundation is it long wearing absolutely not this is not a long wearing foundation if you need if you are counting on this foundation through thick and thin to get you through a 12 16 hour day in the heat and all kinds of conditions this is not your girl you're gonna want to leave this one at home and go to your current holy grail. Um, it is a nice foundation. I think if you just work like a normal eight hour day in a nice environment, maybe in air conditioning and you're not stressed and you have time to touch up throughout the day, then this is a beautiful foundation for you. However, I find that even with my combination skin, I definitely set my face. I set my face a lot. I get oily throughout the day um, and I sit in an environment where I do tend to get a little bit hot. So I put a lot of powder on. Um, but I still get oily. By the end of the day, I can sometimes with this foundation, I can look like a bit of an oil slick. And I only have combo skin. I wouldn't even call my skin super oily. Um, so you definitely need to set your face with this foundation. And you definitely are going to want to touch up if you are wearing this for a long period of time. In saying all of those things, though, it doesn't break me out. I have super sensitive skin. So that is a massive plus for me. It doesn't settle in any fine lines or anything like that. As long as I kind of keep on top of the oil throughout the day, this does look beautiful. So I think overall this foundation is a good foundation I think I would give it about a three and a half maybe like a 3.7 out of 5 if I was to rate it. I have other foundations that look a lot more beautiful and seamless and are a lot more long wearing but this is definitely not the worst foundation I have ever tried and the more I wear it, the more I like it. So who knows, maybe in a month this will be my holy grail foundation. This pretty much wraps up my Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation review. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you got something out of it. If you are wondering just quickly what is on my eyes today is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. I absolutely adore this palette. It's probably my all-time favorite palette. I'm not even lying. Her matte formula is that good. Um, and if you haven't tried her eyeshadows, I highly recommend going out and trying them. Um, everything that's on my face today is going to be linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this review, if you like watching my videos, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads from me. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, all of those good things. I will also put my Instagram handle right here or right here, somewhere on the screen right now. Um, if you would like to check me out, I do post there pretty much every day and I would love it if you came over and joined my little family there. Um, Please let me know what you think of the Beauty Blender foundation down below if you have tried it or if you're going to try it. And also please let me know any other foundations that you would like me to review down below. I am open to suggestion and I love testing foundations out. I have a thing for it. So let me know down below what you would like to see. That is it from me today, you guys. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, bye.